Yeah, what's good with y'all boys? We back with another video, and today's video is going to basically be on a Shadow Mantras tier list. I wanted to make this video just to show to all the new players who are like just coming to the game. It might not be a lot, but just the people who don't know about Shadow, I want to show y'all what like mantras are the best. If y'all want this to be a series, let me know in the comments because I do have basically every uh, mantra down here. So if y'all want me to do a mantra tier list on like uh, flame, lightning, ice, something like that, then I can I can make videos for that also. But also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I think we're like 150 away from 4K subs. There's only 2% of y'all that watch my videos that actually subscribe. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe. I just wanna hit 4K and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so for the first mantra we start off with is Shadow Gun. With Shadow Gun, if you put a blast spark on it, it basically turns it into like a big ass, like shadow multi hit shadow gun. But you also need to put like Stratus Stones and Perfect Lenses on it, so it does take a lot of ether. But what I would probably put this in, I wouldn't say it's broken, but I would put it in good because, like, if you hit it, you like if they parry it one time and just don't parry the rest of the hits it can still hit them and on top of that it procs shadow the shadow talent so like it blinds them like really hard so you can pull off another like shadow move right after it basically so for the next move we have we have clutching shadow clutching shadow honestly y'all might hate me for this because i've seen some people like use it in a good way but for me clutching shadow like doesn't really hit for me like for mid I I'm, I'm gonna put it in the mid tier because like it doesn't do a lot of damage and it's not like too op like you can't i don't think you can combo extend after it like it puts you on a um a stun after you use clutching shadow i'm pretty sure but it, it's all right it's not bad but it's not it's not good either and then for the next shadow move we have dark blade dark blade is so good so it's like a multi-hit move and you could put a tornado spark on it and um it also blinds the enemy and takes a lot of ether from them and it also if you put a wayward on it you can basically get like a free critical app after i don't know if that's a fact because they just nerfed the wayward gem and oh my god bro that wayward gem nerf is so dumb bro like i don't know why they did that like wayward was fine but anyways i'm gonna probably put this in damn this is i'm gonna put this in good because it's not too broken but it's definitely good so i'm gonna put it below shadow gun because shadow gun's definitely better because it has more range all right so I, I think we i think we all know about eclipse kick man eclipse click kick on shadow bro this this damn near this mantra right here damn near carry shadow for real like if you get a, a maxed out eclipse kick like five star uh eclipse kick bro that shit can do like two bars to a person if you hit it and also if you put a, a multiplying spark on it you can get a first little kick and if you hit the little kick then the actual eclipse kick has hyper armor so it's like it's basically a really high damaging move and sometimes it glitches out uh the shadow talents proc on it and it'll leave them hanging in the air and you can basically like get a free m1 and they don't get knocked back so like it's it's honestly eclipse kick broken bro like it deserves the number one spot because eclipse kick is just an amazing move i'm so happy they added that to shadow all right so for the next move we have rising shadow rising shadow is also like a key to shadow but it's not really needed you don't really need it but it it's just it lands too often to not have it in your kit like it's just a really good move especially because you can use eclipse kick, eclipse kick into rising shadow if they don't have any events you can also use shadow gun into rising shadow dark blade into rising shadow clutching shadow into you can use all of these moves into rising shadow so honestly i think i might put rising shadow into like broken it's not broken but it's just too good to be in good like <laughs> like it's, it's way too good to be in good okay so for the next the next move we have shade bringer shade bringer honestly before layer two shade bringer was it would definitely go in the broken tier but now i would say it's it, it's good but it's not like too good because people learn how to parry it and it's just like a big ass black bar swinging at you so of course you're gonna parry it but if you put a wayward on this it's like actually really good because you can follow up with like a critical with like heavy or like anything basically any critical so it, it's still a good move to use and i would probably put it like 
and good but i would put it in between i would put it over dark blade because it's definitely better than dark blade because it has more range all right now we have shade devour shade devour honestly i don't really use it like i i can't really see a use for it in pvp wise but like i can see for like pve it's definitely like really good because you get a damage buff but like people could just parry trade you until you like it runs out and like it's basically useless and you lost hp for no reason honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna put it in mid y'all might hate me for that but i'm gonna put it in mid just because for pvp it's it's not that good but if this was a pve tier list i would probably put it and good but nah all right so the next move we have shadow assault shadow assault really good for closing gaps especially if you put perfect lenses on it um and rush shards but honestly just because it's good for chasing i'm gonna put it in good but like i'm gonna put it under dark blade because it's not as good as dark blade for sure okay so shadow chains shadow chains honestly do we really gotta talk about it bro the next, the next mantra we're gonna do is uh, Shadow Eruption. Shadow Eruption, bro. Shadow Eruption is just a beautiful ass mantra, bro. Like, if you're going Shadow and you don't get Shadow Eruption, wipe the build. Just wipe it. Like, no point. Like, you, you basically in on every Shadow build you need Shadow Eruption. It's just way too good to not have. It's not broken, but it's not, it's not bad. Like. It's just a really good, you can combo extend, it blinds, it has a huge hitbox, and it has two hits. So, like, if you miss one hit, like, the first hit of it, you can hit the second hit, and it'll stun them in place. So, like, it's just a really good move. I think I'm going to put this over Shadow Gun just because of how often it hits. Because you can still parry Shadow Gun, and it's, like, kind of visible. But, like, Shadow Eruption, it hits way more often than Shadow Gun. So Shadow Meteors, Shadow Meteors is really, really good for ganks. For ones, um, it's it's kind of iffy, like for chime and shit like that, because people like you can tell when they're gonna use Shadow Shadow Meteors, like it, like it has a super obvious cast time. But honestly, I don't, I don't think it's like a bad or a mid mantra. Like it's for ganks, it's really good because you can just get free damage off and like why not who wouldn't take free damage so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in low good but like it's definitely if i could it would be in the middle of mid and good okay so shadow roar shadow roar is honestly underrated like off off the rip underrated people do not use this mantra enough like it it's a really good gap closer especially if you're chasing somebody it's also really good for fucking up people's momentum basically like if you're if you have shadow roar and somebody's m one you and like they're going crazy on you and you're getting shit on you could just run away pop shadow roar and it'll back them up like a decent bit like it's it's just a really good mantra to use for sure i definitely recommend it especially with the um the talent which makes it bigger and also you can put like perfect lenses and all that other crap to make it bigger but it's just a really good mantra i think i'm gonna put this in honestly i might put this in it's not broken though like it's not broken but i don't think it's better than shadow eruption i think i'm gonna put it in low good but if i could it would be unbroken like if it hit more I think I'm gonna just keep it there. If y'all if y'all have any other thoughts, just tell me in the comments and I I switch it up. But like, I think I'm gonna just keep it in high good and like low broken. Okay, so for shadow seekers, garbage. 